12 PAF's Turney C Council ECE credits. We will be referring to CEH certification renewal throughout the video. However, the ECE credit earning ways are the same for all EC Council certifications. Certified Ethical Hacker CH, is one of the most reputable cybersecurity certifications. EC Council has CH renewal requirements, and there are certain requirements to earn ECE credits. We've gone through the 12 paths to earn EC Council ECE credits in this video. Do not skip this video. There are free ECE credit resources throughout the video. CH Renewal Requirements Before we go through how to renew CH certification, we need to understand the CH Renewal Requirements. EC Council requires CH certification holders to earn 120 ECE credits every three years. ECE stands for EC Council Continuing Education, and typically, one hour spent on an activity earns one ECE credit. Other than collecting ECE credits, CH certification holders must pay an 80 US dollars EC Council annual membership fee. EC Council published 25 activities that qualify for the ECE scheme. We've categorized these activities into 12 groups. Let's go through each of these one by one. 1. CH Renewal Courses Education Category while there are 25 different ways to earn CH Renewal ECE credits, the most popular way to earn ECEs for professionals is through online courses. Here are the top five reasons why professionals choose ECE courses to renew their CH certification. No caps, there is no maximum limit for the education category, so you can earn all CH Renewal ECE credit needs in one program and renew your certification. You do not need to go elsewhere to find additional ECE credits to renew your CEH certification. Self-paced, you do not need to attend an event, conference, or seminar. You can follow the courses at your place, at your pace. Affordable, depending on the program content, you can enroll in a self-paced CEH renewal ECE online course for around $250. However, seminars or conferences start from $1,000. Not only that, you may not earn all ECE credit needs in one event. Requires less effort. When you enroll in CH renewal courses, all you have to do is follow the curriculum, earn ECE credits, and renew your EC Council certification. However, other ECE credits earning ways require significant effort from the CH certification holders such as creating content, sharing a presentation, authoring, etc. Less prone to EC Council audit. Since the CH renewal training programs are used by many certified professionals, EC Council already has a track and record of the activities. However, for other categories, EC credit submissions are more unique and may be more likely to hit an audit. EC Credits Course Program San Francisco Business School offers a CEH Renewal ECE course program. The program offers three self-paced business training programs, Executive Leadership, Strategy Creation in Execution, and Marketing Strategy. For each course in the program, SFBS awards a Certificate of Graduation. While earning ECE credits, you will earn reputable business merits to highlight in your resume and LinkedIn. You can find links to this program in the description of the video. 2. How to Renew CEH Certification Attending Events Attending cybersecurity-related events will earn you CEH Renewal ECE credits. Typically, a one-day activity earns six ECE credits. So, if you attended a two-day event, you will earn around 12 ECE credits. Attending events has benefits like expanding your professional network and learning the changing trends in your domain. However, there are some pitfalls to these events, typically organized in big cities. If you're living in a relatively smaller city, you might not see any events to earn ECE credits. Requires in-person attendance. Many of the events take a few days, and you have to take days off from your work to attend these events. Expensive. Typically, these events are charged $1,000 per day. So, for a two-day event, 
you need to pay around $2,000. Travel and accommodation, if needed, are not included in these fees. Does not earn ECE credits at once. Although it requires a significant amount of time and money, you cannot earn all the required CEH renewal credits you need through one event. Considering you are a full-time working professional and looking to earn EC Council ECE credits in one step, we do not recommend this way for earning ECE hours. Free CE Credits Program San Francisco Business School offers a self-paced free CEH renewal course online program as well. If you attend this program, you can earn three free ECE credits and submit them in the education category. You can find links to this program in the description of the video. 3. CEH Renewal Through Reading EC Council accepts CCE credits through reading resources like Information Security Book Article Review Book Review Case Study One hour of reading counts as one ECE credit, however, everyone's reading pace is different. So, earning CEH renewal ECE credits through reading resources is not a crystal clear way to go. EC Council accepts a maximum of 5 ECE credits through reading. So, there is a limit to earning ECE credits through reading. 4. Authoring If you are authoring information security related content, EC Council accepts your activity as a source of ECE credits. Some of the activities you can earn CH renewal ECE credits, and the maximum ECE credits you can earn are as follows. Offering article or book chapter or white paper, 20 credits. Author security tool, 40 credits. Authoring book, 100 credits. Authoring course or module, 40 credits. Do you write articles or blogs? Give webinars. Make videos. Today's digital world is full of new content, and anything you create counts towards your EC Council RAE certification. Typically, you can submit ECE credits for the hours you worked on content creation. For instance, if your OTA blog posts for an hour, you can claim one ECE credit in your EC Council profile. Offering is cumbersome. There are several aspects of curating quality content. If your profession involves creating content, it is fine. You can earn CEH renewal credits while you are working. However, just to earn ECEs, creating content is a tough path. 5. Presentation Vendor sales and marketing presentations can count for ECE credits as well. These activities include vendor product or system-specific sales presentations related to the assessment of information systems. There is a maximum ECE credit earning limit of 3 ECE credits for this way. 6. Teaching If you are an instructor, you can earn ECE credits by teaching an information security course. EC Council shows two types of teaching activities. Teach New, 21 credits. You can earn a maximum of 21 CEH renewal ECE credits by teaching new courses. If you're teaching the same course for more than one time, you cannot submit ECE credits for the second and next sessions. Teach Upgrade, 11 credits. If you are not an instructor, this way may not be a good option to renew your CEH certification. 7. Volunteering EC Council accepts volunteering activities as ECE credits as well. Below are two examples of volunteering activities. Volunteering for government, public sector, and other charitable organizations. Non-security government, private sector, or charitable organization committees. You can search for volunteering options on the EC Council website as well. Note that these activities may not be available in your location if you live in a small city. EC Council has a limit of one ECE credit per volunteering activity. 8. Identify new vulnerability. Ethical hackers identify the vulnerabilities of information systems and propose proactive prevention mechanisms before real hackers find them. As part of their role, if CEHs identify a new vulnerability in information systems, this counts as 10 ECE credits toward renewing CEH certification. 
9. Certification Related to ID Security If you're in a new information security certification, the EC Council accepts it as a source of ECE credits. You can submit a maximum of 40 ECE credits for earning new certifications. 10. Association or Organization Related Activities There are several information security associations, groups, and chapters. The main goals of these associations and meetings are knowledge sharing, gathering, networking, and so on. EC Council accepts CH Renewal ECE credits for the activities related to associations. Chapter Meeting Per Meeting 1 Credit You can earn 1 credit per chapter meeting. Typically, these meetings are 1 to 2 hours and are held every few months. Chapter Membership Per Association or Organization 3 Credits If you are an active member of an information security chapter, this will earn you three ECE credits. Membership per association or organization, two credits. There are various information security associations and organizations. An active membership to each organization earns two credits. If you're living in a small city, there might not be information security associations or chapter meetings. 11. EC Council Activities EC Council has some activities that earn CEH Renewal ECE credits as well. You can see each activity and how many ECE credits can be earned through each activity below. EC Council Beatty Exam Testing, 80 credits. EC Council ECE Examinations, 120 credits. EC Council Exam Survey, 20 credits. EC Council Item Writing, 3 credits. EC Council Job Task Analysis Survey, 40 credits. EC Council Review Board, 80 credits. EC Council Standard Setting, 60 credits. 12. Higher Education per Semester If you are pursuing your higher education, some of the courses or lectures might be relevant to information security. EC Council accepts information security related higher education as ECE credits. Higher education per quarter, 10 credits. Higher education per semester, 15 credits. Subscribe to our channel to receive new videos.